So obviously recently with COVID, we had um, the fastest ever vaccines made in our history. Um, maybe correct me if that if I'm wrong, but it, it, it was oh, extremely, right. extremely quick. Um, why can we not do that for other other drugs, other biologics, cell and genes and so on? That is a fabulous question that I've heard answered incorrectly so many times that I'm very happy to explain that because I, even in my own family, they would ask me, you know, well, why can't, why can't you do it that fast all the time? Well, there were some very critical circumstances that, that aligned that we as a society decided that we would do. One, we decided that we would throw unlimited amounts of money at the effort. So it was literally a, a, a space race that, the, it, that we, the public, funded. And so sponsors who received the money were told, don't worry about clinical trials, don't worry about making small scale material, medium scale material, commercial scale material, go straight to commercial. So that collapsed multiple years right there, just the normal time it would take to make material and then, and then run it in clinical trials. The, the answer was make it at scale, we'll take the risk that it's gonna work. Uh, we're not gonna use it until we prove it, but don't worry about those intermediate stages. That was massive. That jump started things by years. The second thing that happened is that the decks were cleared. Every CMC person that I knew that was working in that area worked 24 seven, you know, 365 days a year at the exclusion of everything else they were working on. And the same thing happened on the side of the regulators that were working in the vaccine area for reviews and inspections. Their decks were cleared so that they could spend nothing but 24 seven, 365, turning these reviews around as fast as possible and doing these inspections in real time as fast as possible. Can we do that again? Oh, and the other thing is that they commandeered all the contract manufacturing, all the raw materials, everything in the supply chain. And, and so that meant other products that were critically needed, you know, in development got paused in many cases. So, but, but the risk and benefit was we as a society needed these vaccines as quickly as possible. And so it was done. Can we do that again? Yeah, those circumstances are met again, but but I don't believe that they will be. Everything, every disease is important to somebody, but as a society, we have very few diseases that have hit us as quickly and as dramatically and as seriously as something like a pandemic did. So I don't want people to misunderstand that, you know, it was, we're not delaying the development of anything. It's just the normal development process where, where it was given carte blanche with time, resources, and money to get it done as fast as possible. And it happened just like the space race, it happened. Um, but it will take something like that again, I think, to get those stars to align. I hope it doesn't, but that is why. And no quality corners were cut. You know, there, there were some mistakes that occurred, but the, the, the checks and balances in the quality system caught it and nothing went out the door that had any risk to patient safety uh, or health and, and, the, and, the, and the systems did their job. Um, but when you bring in 600 people a month to hire them new, it's going to take a little bit of time for them to get up to speed, even if they are following, you know, written procedures. It's just, we are all humans. And a lot of us were, you know, scared and stressed. Yeah, it was a fascinating um, achievement, I think, wasn't it? Obviously making that vaccine. And I think, I don't know if you mentioned as well, but it was also the regulators were all just working on. Oh, they were. They, the regulators, it, it, yeah. I mean, some of the, the folks that I know that were in the field, I mean, my God, they, they, they literally sacrificed their entire personal life to, to the to the to the to, to doing their job, you know they're the gatekeepers to the public, and they and they stepped up for the challenge, uh, and did a heroic job. It's it's amazing. We had many many different industries working, but there's only a couple of people in the world that that regulate vex that that review vaccines and inspect vaccines. Yeah, no, yeah, it was definitely um, an achievement. And you're right. I think if it has to happen again, it be because there is another unfortunate disease <laughs> spread, spreading throughout the world which won't be good um, no but but i just i don't want i don't want people to think because i see it all the time i see it yeah. public, you know, well we can always and, and especially in seminars you know telling telling vps and investment bankers that you know we can do it again that fast yeah are you prepared to do what it took to do that because i don't think so yeah that's a lot of money <laughs> it's an, yeah, an impossible an inconceivable amount, yeah. amount of yeah. money yeah it's not gonna happen no that's a good answer though thank you very much nadine